Hello, welcome to my review of screencast o -Matic. So this is screen capture software. You can see that you can adjust uh, the, the bounds of the screen capture area. You can pick whatever size you like to capture any given area. And you can use this to capture anything you like really. Anything that you can see on your desktop can be captured in real time so that's WordPress that you're looking at here if I wanted to demo WordPress I could do that so we're on the desktop I'm adjusting the bounds of the the capture area you've got the microphone I've got a USB headset you can turn the sound on or off and you've got webcam options I've never used that myself but maybe you could use that. You've got settings such as shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts which will perform various functions. I always use the defaults. You can also choose a maximum recording time. I don't usually play with those settings but if you want to the option is there. I use 10 frames per second. I don't use anything above that. If you're doing basic screen capture videos then 10 frames per second is absolutely fine. So let's start recording. By the way I'm using Team Viewer to actually capture the screen capture software. So what what you're looking at now is um Screencast-O-Matic in action actually recording, but I am using Team Viewer. Uh I'm using screen capture software to demo screen capture software if that makes sense. So I've uh, we've, we've got these tools. So whilst you're recording your video, you can use tools like paint brushes to draw and uh, create annotations and you can change the color using the color swatches and this is handy if you ever want to underline something or just write notes um, now if, if I remember correctly there were quite a few t that you could change the color and all that but there were other tools as well um, you could draw boxes and things like that and I'm just trying to remember where ah here we go Ah, so you could draw a, like a box in, in different colours and you've got other shapes. Like, I've never used these before actually. I've used the box but never the arrow. Um, never used the oval before. Never used the highlight. I can imagine that could be quite useful. Like you could drag it over an icon like I'm doing there to highlight something. Um, and you can just erase that by pressing, clicking erase. Now what else? with screen cast matic okay we'll say we'll click done for now and we'll give it a name oh by the way you can play back your footage just to see if you're happy with it so before you export you can click play and it will play in the preview wi uh, pane and if you're happy with it then you can go ahead and save it so yeah that looks fine that looks good and you've got all these options to publish to. You've got YouTube, Video File, Vimeo, Google Drive, and a few other options, cloud storage and that. I tend to stick to a video file. I just export it as a video file. So I'll give that a name. Screencast Omatic. Whoops. Screen Screencast Omatic Demo. Yep. Save that as a video file and it saves it as an mp4 you could go for AVI if you want but mp4 tends to be a much smaller file size while maintaining quality and I'll just go for normal you can render to whatever size you like but since I like to upload high res YouTube videos I'll often um, um, export at a larger size so what you do is you can change the width to something like 12, sorry that's not 1290, that should be um, 1920 not 1290, let me just delete that, uh, yeah 1920, so I'll export that to 1920 and that will actually enlarge the size of the, of, um, the, the rendered output, so we'll save that, choose a folder, I'll just go on the desktop for now, save that as an mp4 and that renders now. Now this is quite a short file, it's like what, 1 minute 18. It will take, um, what, 1, 2 minutes to render. So what we'll do is, I'm going to go make a cup of tea very quickly and I'll come back in a sec. And using the power of video editing we'll just fast forward and uh, we'll, we'll come back. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we're back. It's rendered, everything's good. 
I'm happy with that. Um, let's have a look. So we're, there it is. It's on the desktop on the left there. That's rendered as an MP4. Let's have a look. It's only two <coughs> two point four five meg. That's pretty good. That's a very small file size. You won't get that with a Navi. Let's open it with the QuickTime player and just get a true feeling of of how large the rendered video is. Bearing in mind we rendered it at nineteen twenty pixels in width. So that's what that's nineteen twenty by ten eighty. So if you upload that to YouTube, that will automatically make it a HD video. And HD videos tend to attract more clicks on YouTube. So yeah, that's good. Let's open it in Windows Media Player and just check that it plays in there as well. Yep, there it is, that's fine. You can edit your Screencast-O-Matic videos within Screencast-O-Matic if you want to, but it's a bit limited. Um, I prefer to use something called Sony Vegas Pro, which has got far more capabilities. Now you can use whatever you want. You can even use Windows Movie Maker, but try and get yourself a decent editor, Camtasia, something like that, and you can just drop your video in. But let's just take a look at Screen, uh, Screencast-O-Matic on the web. Let's go to their website and actually have a look at how much this is because you can actually get it for free which has its limitations but it's not much to upgrade and do you know what I wish they had an affiliate program for this because I would love to promote this program and earn money but you know it's $15 a year I wouldn't earn much from it anyway you can get it for free and then you can upgrade but I would go for the pro version because you don't want it to say in big letters in the bottom right corner screencast-o-matic you want it to not have I mean if you look at the video that I'm making now with team viewer you can see it's got a, a, a watermark on there so um, that was it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was useful talk to you again soon